greetings again greetings to all my viewers and subscribers and to most of the viewers them that haven't subscribed to the channel as yet you can just go over and subscribe you understand you don't know a thing set um build we build the channel and thing and set the thing you see it and i'm grateful for those who subscribe to my channel already and i'm still grateful for all the viewers you know yeah i'm gonna present to you now um i'm gonna build two gates two small gates that will go with this huge gate all right this is one of them small gate here this is the one that i'm gonna frame and that is the other this one is much wider than that one okay so the bigger gate is going to be lower than this small gate that i'm about to frame up along with that these two gates gonna be higher than this gate itself so i'm gonna use the bigger gate as a template to get the correct height so that I can place the sheet metal on this one just like this that means this gate is going to be on a step up so I use here as the step up which is a piece of concrete while this gate gonna be about an inch and a half away from the ground itself you understand so this is a typical example this is the, the, the flat the ground this is a little step up to go into the yard so I use here as a step up which is you see the step up so I'll be able to put where to place the sheet metal if I don't do that whenever time I put up this I install this big gate this gate when it install and the step up this sheet metal will fall about let me see it would have fall here here would have fall here so it kind of have a step up like so i don't want that i want when i install this big gate along with this gate the small these two small gate the metal the sheet metal will be uniform straight across the board you understand yeah so i'm just explaining to you folks how i'm gonna do it so these two gates won't take much, really, you know, so I'm going to try and finish it up and get, get it painted and stuff like that and um, I'll see where I'll be heading from that. I suppose to build some grill for a fence, for the fence itself, but this is the other part of the job, the gates, alright, so I'm trying to pull through with the gates first and foremost okay so as i said to you to all my viewers and subscribers subscribe whosoever no subscribers yet can just subscribe to the channel and build the channel you know it's a young channel and i appreciate all those who subscribe to my channel already and i appreciate the viewers them as well okay so maybe you have sometimes some people will be viewing the channel maybe they're just watching to see where it's going before they subscribe but to all my viewers if you don't subscribe the channel will not go anywhere so i'm asking please you can subscribe to the channel and boot the channel and build the channel because without you folks this channel will not go nowhere okay and i gladly appreciate the people who view it and view the channel and the people who subscribe to my channel okay god bless you all one love every time
folks, I must remember to tell you that this is part four of this video, right? Part four. You can check out part one, two, and three. They're on the system right now, okay? Um, as I see here, I build this arch. I have another one to build, so stay tuned. the face of the gate this is the gate that when you're out on the street you can look at the front this is the front all right I normally grind the areas with the welding grind them down flat enough so that it would be the giant wouldn't be that visible right but since as this is, is the front part of the gate that's going to expose I normally grind it but I don't grind the back more than chip off the slugs them from off the back sometimes the welding tend to bubble so it's too high so more time we run the grinder over it and kind of grind it down but we don't grind it down too flat because you don't want to um, make the strength of the grill poor the strength poor is as if you're building a grill for strength but at the same time grinding too much of the welding will make it get a bit weak you understand so i only grind the front part but i don't grind the back part if it bubble if the welding bubble we take off a little like grind a little off it but not too much you understand so we still want the gate for our strength you see it yeah man that's how things set
thing I must tell you folks about um, allo sections, allo section like these. A, a matter of fact, all allo sections. With my um, ideas and, and, and smartness and knowledge, me know say if I put me on my mouth, if I try to suffocate myself, I know I can't suffocate myself. I can't breathe. So just imagine a material like allosection. You weld the two ends and it can't breathe. No hair not, get, not getting inside. It's common sense. The other day I was talking to an engineer. And him, me, me, me just mentioned it to him. Say, so listen, it's whenever time I do jobs that I have to use allosections or allosection tubing, which people around the world know it as, like the Americans, I always bore a hole into it. Bore a small hole, maybe like quarter inch hole or so forth. Could be a little bit smaller, but you want the allo section to be breathing. A lot of these gates sometimes um, rotten down quick. The outside looks solid, but inside rotten down is just the paint keeping it, make it look like it's okay, like it's you know firm and everything. But behind the paint, if you take a chip in hammer, you chip it, you see a hole leaving it because it, it tend to rot inside and sweat inside. So from it sweat inside, it going to develop rotten, rotten spot inside. But you won't see it. The reason why? Because most welders block off every area at the other section. They block off everything. So no hair cannot get inside or no oxygen cannot get inside. I know if a man hold me a certain way and try to suffocate me, I go dead. So just picture the iron not getting any air inside. It's as a, a form of suffocation. So it's like a rotten. So each time when rain falls and the sun catch it, it tend to sweat inside. Especially when the time is cold. So some people you know them thing, they understand? But tell her, I was saying, saying it to an engineer. And him is an engineer. He tell me say, I don't know nothing about that. That him tell me. So I say, wait, then a common sense. You follow? A common sense that if the iron now get no ear. It will automatically rotten from inside. It now show the rotten from outside until it starts exposed from inside to outside. Come on, sense that. what I'm talking about when it comes on to safety sometimes we have it and we don't remember to use it just because we're so deep into the work Well, Lord, I know how we are of what I'm talking about. You understand? So it's no big deal, you know?
Bitte. Besser. Vielen Dank.